Hi again, it's Chrissy, your Life Skills and Deployment Educator, here with the fourth and final version of the Return to Children course as a part of the Return and Reunion curriculum. So we want to talk a little bit about blended families. Blended families are not uncommon in the military or in, in society. So it's important that we talk about some of the additional challenges that are going on because uh, they have additional challenge children of blended families in addition to deployment, in addition to the stressors that come along with um, being in a global pandemic. So we have an additional uh, handout that I would suggest reaching out to Fleet and Family for. It has several step processes to make sure that you are um, doing the best that you can to make the return and integration process um, as good as it can be um, after coming back from a deployment dealing with a global pandemic and being a blended family. Um, so some of these suggestions here, and I agree with the first one for everyone, lower your expectations. Don't, have, don't expect your family to look like someone else's family to be just like, it, like you imagine it to be. Um, celebrate little wins, little things that you see going well with children and little opportunities where you have some peace and quiet and um, feel like things are very um, copacetic in the household, take those as wins and just kind of add those to your um, list of accomplishments. Um, so lower your expectations and then down here, think about forming a new family identity. So I, just like every family doesn't necessarily have the same interests and the same structure and the same routine, think about what works for your family and maybe develop some new traditions and some new, um, new things that you'd like to do as a family. Maybe, um, so, so for example, I didn't grow up in a family that did a lot of games and my husband came from a family that did games all the time. So we kind of had to develop a new routine within our family unit um, of playing games, which is all, not usually my cup of tea, but I noticed that it brings the family together and it brings some joy and laughter into the house. So consider what you can do that will make your family feel like it has its own um, identity. Um, some of the other things, suggestions that we have on our sheet are also reuniting with your partner, um, realizing that when marriages are strong, that's the foundation for a good family structure. Um, so make sure that you're taking time to spend couple time together and discuss changes and then talk about what your roles are as a blended family. Um, all relationships, we've talked about this in a couple other briefs, are built on mutual trust and mutual respect. Every single relationship you have is built on trust and respect. And then also extend that trust and respect to the stepchildren. Um, I trust and respect you. Um, I try to tell you everything that I know and I try and build trust with you. So I expect for you to, uh, to do things that gain trust with you as well. So remember that too. If you're new to being a blended parent, um, consider easing into your role. Maybe even refer back to our previous worksheet on the opportunity ladder and don't expect to take on the new role of a new spouse, a new significant other and being a parent. Um, maybe refer to the, to the parent that the child has been with for a while and then develop your new role. And I would suggest adding to a nice bank of really positive experiences with the child so that later when discipline needs to be implemented, you have a nice um, bank of really positive experiences that you can then take withdrawals on. Um, that can be really useful as well. And then realize when it's time to reach out for additional resources. I like focus for families families overcoming under stress and they'll work with blended families as well. That can be really helpful to find a moderator and someone that can work with all of the changes that are happening. Um, I like the MFLAX right now, they are, have virtual services, the military family life counselors, and then Military One Source has um, some additional virtual resources as well as us, although we are not seeing children at the moment, the MFLAX are. Um, the uh, last thing that I kind of want to leave you with is this does not this does not apply to people that are in abusive relationships. So if you have a parent who has um, substance abuse problems, who is violent, this doesn't apply to them. But if you, it's always in the best interest of a child to have multiple people in their life who love and support them. So always remind yourself of that when you have friction with uh, 
step parents or uh, making your blended family work between birth parents and step parents and everyone in between, remind yourself that it is within the child's best interest to have multiple adults in their life who love them and who support them. And just bring yourself back to that as a, as a goal. Um, here are some reintegration tips. I want to draw your attention to this one right here, asking your partner for suggestions and then asking your child for help. So you are, you might have set up the home, you might have been paying all the bills while you were gone, but the children have kind of taken ownership over their home and they have some responsibilities that they might want to be able to show you. So three phrases that I wrote down that would might be useful is one, how can I help? So this is particularly for your caregiver or your significant other at home. This can be really helpful. Um, how can I help? And then these two, um, tell me, this is, could be for your children. Tell me about when you took the trip to the zoo. Tell me about what second grade is like. Tell me more about this new van you got with the sliding doors. That's really interesting. And then this one too, show me. Um, show me how to make brownies. I haven't made brownies before. And you might have, but this is just to help you bond with your children. So it's tell me about this and show me this. And then how can I help? Or some really powerful phrases to help you start blending with your family members again. Um, remember too that your child's developmental stage will determine the kind of interaction that you can have with them. Find out where they are and, and meet them there. I got a lot better at parenting once I started reminding myself, okay, my child's having a tantrum because they, he won't put pants on to leave the house. And if I told myself, he's two, he's having trouble with pants because he's two, I was then able to accept it a little bit more. And one of the other ways we can encourage that is by normalizing and sharing um, feelings. So encourage the sharing of feelings. So in, in that situation with my son, I would say something to the effect of, I'm really frustrated that you won't put your pants on because I really want to take you to go get ice cream. And I want ice cream as well. So maybe we can get that, get that happening. Um, instead of saying, you're not listening to me, you're disrespectful, you never do what I ask, and that is putting the emotion in the situation on the child instead of me owning my own emotions. And that's what we want our children to do as well. We don't want their emotions to be dependent on other people. We want them to feel like they own their emotions. And then later when they have ownership, they can later control their emotion. Um, so discuss any changes as, your fa as a family. Encourage being patient. Um, again, all children really need is love. Consider the 10 minute rule, 10 minutes a day to spend on, a on, on an activity of your child's choice. That can be really helpful. So think about some of these reintegration te techniques, engage in the family routine, um, take a hands-on approach, and just remember to go slowly and be very patient. Um, we also have our new parent support visitation program at Fleet and Family. Um, I encourage this for, for anyone who has a child. We're looking at younger children, um, so the children do age out, but if you have a younger child and you have older children, you can still take um, part in that program. But they know all about the ages and stages. They know about um, some infant care techniques, baby proofing, and they are a good person to reach out to for additional support. So this is much better than Googling like I did as a young parent. Oh, I don't know about this. I wish I, I is this normal for my 18 month old child? How do, I, how do I approach potty training? New parent support is a good person to reach out to for that, all right? Um, okay, so in the end, Fleet and Family is here for you for whatever you need going forward. Um, it does take time to become a family again. I like to remind people the reintegration process is six weeks. So be patient with yourself and your child and realize that if you love and if you make yourself available, your family will become um, very resilient and will grow through this process. So thank you again. Please feel free to reach out to us at Fleet and Family for any questions that you have. This is our centralized scheduling number, but we have additional um, resources that we can help you out with. Just contact us by email. 
We're looking forward to seeing all of your wonderful faces soon. Thank you so much. And we um, stay safe out there, guys. Bye.